with the area's most accurate forecast, Storm Tracker 59. It was another gray and gloomy day here across the two Virginias and rain is still actively falling. Welcome back to 59 News. I'm meteorologist Mike Slifer. Take a look at the storm tracker 59 HD dual live Doppler right now. We can see some pretty intense rainfall off to our north and west and that's where the heaviest rain has been sitting. There are multiple points along the Ohio River that are forecast to reach minor to moderate flooding. That's not a problem that we've run into much here across the southern part of the region though. The cold front fell apart when it moved through this morning and while we had a couple of heavier showers pass, we've been mainly dealing with lighter steady rain. So still not exactly great, but it could definitely be worse. Some heavier showers now moving into the southern part of Raleigh County, northern Mercer County along the I-77 corridor. We've also got some heavier rain in northern Fayette County and that's where our flood warning is in effect until 4 p.m. High water is possible in streams and creeks and rivers. Low lying areas could see standing water as well as in flood prone areas. So just keep an eye out and make sure again you turn around and don't drown. I know we say that a lot, but it's really difficult to see just how deep those puddles are. And all it takes is a little bit of moving water for you to get swept away. Temperatures have been falling pretty steadily behind that front too. Many of us are now down into the low to mid 50s across the region. We do expect temperatures to keep tumbling as we get later into your Friday afternoon down to 47 now in Huntington and usually when we see the temperatures drop in Huntington, it's only a couple hours before they really start to drop here too. So you can expect the 40s within the next couple of hours. We had the heaviest rain again move through this morning when the front passed, but we've still got some light steady rain out there overnight tonight. We do briefly dry out, but we don't stay dry for too long at all. The high pressure system that moves in is very fast. It's a fleeting high pressure. It's here for maybe 12 hours and then tomorrow evening we could see some more rain and even some snow. I'm going to show you something right now and I want to preface it by saying this is going to change. This is our first look at a potential snowfall map for Saturday evening into Sunday morning. Now you'll notice the best chance to see snow is going to be through the Greenbrier Valley. The reason is because that's where we have the best chance of keeping the coldest air trapped. What we are going to have is a battle between 34 degrees and 30 degrees. If we can drop our temperatures back enough, we will see widespread snowfall. Not a lot of that will stick because it's been so warm, but it is possible still to see some snow out there. And by the time we reach Sunday afternoon, things are looking much clearer. Take a look on predictor to see exactly what I'm talking about here. So as we get into tomorrow morning, we see a warm front lift north. There's the snow that I was talking about. You can see very clearly where that cutoff is. It's going to be a sharp cutoff between areas that see a little bit of accumulation and areas that see nothing. I still think the best chance to see accumulation is mainly across the eastern part of our area and that will change as we get a little bit later into the day. Temperatures do warm right back up on Sunday though. We're at about 50 degrees on Sunday, 57 by Monday. Temperatures climb into the 60s by Tuesday, 63 on Wednesday, and then we are back to the 50s for Thursday. An active pattern expected next week with temperatures being quite warm and some more rain on the way. So we'll keep an eye out on that to see exactly how it all plays out. But over the next 24 hours, just be vigilant and weather aware.